in my last coding streams I made a new plugin. It is just this little GUI list plugin called MIDI Wrap. And in this video I'm going to show you a cool workflow that you can have with it. But first let me show you the totally unique beat that I'm going to use. <laughs> So I wrote this melody, but I found like it's not catchy enough. It's like no one would ever remember such a song. So we need to improve the MIDI a bit. And one way to improve MIDI so that it finally sounds usable at all is to load MIDI Mirror, because MIDI Mirror is a free plugin that mirrors the MIDI data vertically. So if a melody went upwards, now it will go downwards. And you can set a note where it will be mirrored. This way you can more or less define on which pitch it should end up. So let's just find something that sounds good with the vocals. I like that. So the next step is to actually copy this to all tracks that have something melodic to it. The beginning of all of the tracks so that they get the same mirroring. All right, the track is done, let's play it back. But wait, some of these tracks make no sense anymore. For example, the bass line, it just sounds like this now. And before it sounded like this. We still want this to be a bass line, right? So now my new plugin comes into play, MIDI Rap. Let's play the vocals together with the bass line. And you can see the plugin MIDI Rap comes with two parameters, one for the lower limit and one for the upper limit. And on the default setting, it will just change nothing because the range is defined by the entire range of possible MIDI values. So let's turn on upper limit to restrict the plugin from having high pitched notes. <laughs> That sounds good to me. So this is still harmonic and the high pitched notes are not deleted. The reason for that is because they are just octave down so that they are still in the same harmony but just lower. And it would be the same if you use the lower limit but with octaves up. So now we just copy the MIDI rap and go to the next track, maybe the piano, put it behind the MIDI mirror and find good settings. <laughs> Now we could experiment with higher pitches. Or with lower pitches. But I must say in this case I think I like the full range. Let's see, we have some higher notes here at the end. We have to check if they also sound good. Yeah, maybe let's tame them a little bit. So we put the lower limit a bit higher. Nice. If I ever make an updated version of this plugin that actually has a GUI, then I will totally make a visualization that makes sure that I always see if there are notes that currently fall out of the range, in which way they fall back into range. But for now, you just have to listen. So now we have this super saw at the end. And now with MIDI wrap, adding some lower limit. Sometimes the plugin gets stuck. In that case, you just deactivate it with Alt A and then activate it again. Okay, nice. Um, now the brass section. Okay, the most interesting part of the brass section is this little motif here. Definitely too low. 
Okay, I like that. Now next up is the pad at the beginning. Oh, I don't even hear it. Oh, that's nice. Now let's take these pseudo voices. Nice, I think now it's finally getting somewhere. This could be, well, maybe not a hit song. It's like the melody wasn't even catchy enough to begin with, but we saved a lot from it. And maybe some people will kind of remember it. It will definitely not be like stuck in people's heads or anything like that. But I don't know, it kind of has something. I want to show you one other thing that you can do with MIDI rap that is really cool. Let's take this last part to demonstrate this. So say we are on the Super Saw track. And now we wanted to have an instrument layer so that we can have multiple instruments that play the same thing. First of all, we would copy everything that we already have in it, which is an instance of Vital playing a bunch of super saws. And now we add another instrument. Let's just decide for the sampler. I'll put a very cheap sounding Casio keyboard harp sample into it. So let's put the same instance that we already had for the super saw on here. Oh, this is really quiet. Let's turn it all up and turn this one down 16 decibels. And now we can actually change the settings in MIDI wrap on this layer to have a higher pitch. And now we can maybe instantiate a note repeater or anything just to make it a little bit more interesting. Add supermodal. So as you can see, you can use MIDI rap to make extremely boring melodies that won't fascinate anyone ever to quite memorable pieces of music that will be set in stone in music history books for many years to come.